Well, it's been a pretty active morning and overnight as well. I know a lot of us, myself included, woke up to some of that thunder, heavy rain as well. It's been pretty windy, so continuing to track some of that as it continues to push through the region, all thanks to a pretty strong cold front. Closer look into southern Illinois, we do have that pocket of shower over Jackson County just west of Carbondale. Still seeing some lightning returns on this as well. So still pretty loud out there um, if you are near the area. Parts of western Kentucky and Tennessee still seeing the bulk of this. This is closer to where that front is, especially over Paris, extending all the way back through Mayfield. Still seeing some pretty heavy showers, tracking some lightning with that as well. And for southeastern Missouri, just east of Poplar Bluff near Puxico, Sykeston, seeing that heavier pocket of rain. So we're almost out of this. We're still continuing to track it. We do have that tornado watch still in effect until noon, but they have started to take some of these counties off. Parts of southern Illinois, um, even other parts of western Kentucky still had this, but they're continuing to cancel this and push it off to the east as that still continues. But still watching that for part of our region, it's a pretty large system. We've got that low pressure, cold front extended off of it. Cold front's pushing directly through the region. Then behind this, you can see all of that snow, some winter weather as well. So much cooler temperatures, and that's what we're tracking for the second half of our day and for our Friday. Live look across the region, pretty foggy for some of us, especially here in Mount Vernon. Still tracking overcast skies for the rest of us, and also still tracking some of that rain. So. As far as the fog goes, visibility pretty low for some of us, especially especially there in Jefferson County, having about a half mile visibility. So continuing to watch that plenty to track today as you're heading out. Temperature differences is another big thing, so you can tell exactly where that cold front is off to our south like Union City, Murray in those 60s. But then behind the front, we have Sparta at 41 degrees, Mount Vernon at 45. So Pretty big difference right now because of that very large system off to our west. They're seeing teens and 20s still out ahead of us somewhere in the 70s. Nashville, Birmingham still in those 70s. St. Louis and us here at home caught somewhere in between. With the next couple of hours, temperatures will continue to fall as that front pushes through. The rain chances, though, do diminish by the early afternoon. Winds will pick up behind that front, so that's something else to watch in the next couple of hours, but at least we'll have that drier weather. Threat tracker still pretty high because we're tracking those warning storms. We do still have that tornado watch in effect, and then the second half of the day going to be much colder after a pretty warm week so far. For our Friday, it's going to feel a lot like winter again, but at least if you do have any weekend plans, the sunshine does return, and we're back slowly warming up, so we're still seeing a high threat tracker today because the storm prediction center does still have part of our region under some of this blanketed. But the good news is again, they're continuing to shift a lot of these warnings, watches, advisories, anything like that. It's continuing to move off to the east as that storm moves off. So part of our region under that marginal, which is a one out of five risk that includes Paducah Union City there at that two, which is that slight risk. So watching that for the next couple of hours, but that storm quickly does move out of here. That cold front off to our east by about 2 o'clock, and then you really start to see that cooler air movement. We're going to be down into the 30s, the 40s. We have that chance of maybe even some flurries overnight tonight. That's how cold it's going to be. So a pretty drastic change from that tornado watch to a chance of flurries early tomorrow morning. By lunchtime, we're somewhere in those 30s, uh, maybe close to 40 for some of us. That's about as warm as our Friday is going to get. At least we could maybe see some sunshine try to peek through, but great to have the Storm Track 3 app as we saw today with all of these warnings and watches. We're still a little over a month away from spring, and it's definitely going to still feel like winter tomorrow. So still kind of spring-like today. We had a warm start to our day. The evening's going to be pretty chilly, though. And then tomorrow, definitely a reminder that we're still in winter. Highs only in the upper 30s. Some sunshine returning, though, which is a pleasant thing to see. By the weekend, we are slowly warming back up, so at least the cold weather is short-lived. Well, to me, it is already feeling like spring with all this rain that we've been getting. I mean, last night, mm -hmm. it woke me up. It was coming down so, you know, intense. So, lots and lots of rain. Lots of rain. Rain chance again next week, too, so enjoy the weekend. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Kate.